question 8, part 8. Complete the table 8.1, placing one tick for each row indicates the sign of each type of energy. So in this table, there are three types of uh, NLB or energy change. So first one is latest energy. Latest energy, we know that is the gases ions combined form the compound. So it's purely bonds formation. So it will release energy. So it's always negative. For the enthalpy change of hydration, is the gases ion dissolved in a large amount of water and form the solution. So therefore, it's also the bond formations only. So release energy, it's always negative. For the enthalpy change of solution, this one, it can be positive or negative. Uh, it depends on the hydration enthalpy and the latest energy. So when uh, <clears throat> there is different compound, okay, dissolve in water, it will be endo or exo. That's why it can be either negative or positive. Okay, so it's not just depends on the solution itself. It must depend on these two. When these two change, the enthalpy of the solution will change. Part B, define enthalpy change of hydration. Okay, this one is uh, very easy. The enthalpy change when one mole of gases ion dissolve in sufficient amount of water to form a very dilute solution under standard condition. So it must be one mole of gases ion. This gases ion can be cation or anion. As long as one mole dissolve in a large amount of water, so this we call enthalpy change of hydration. Okay, part C. We're going to use uh, some of the values in this uh, table 8.2 for the calculation. Okay, later we will uh, uh, get back to this table uh, if needed. Okay, so for, for part one, um, you, you select and use relevant data from this uh, 8.2 to calculate the latest energies of calcium bromax solid. Uh, draw the Hess uh, cycle or energy cycle or von Hebel cycle uh, is uh, very useful. Uh, you should know how to construct the uh, von Hebel cycle. Uh, we start from this uh, formation of the calcium bromide. Uh, it's the calcium solid with the bromine liquid to form the calcium bromide solid. So the formation is given in the table, negative 682.8. Okay, after that, uh, it will undergo atomization and ionization. Okay, let's start with the uh, calcium. Calcium uh, atomization enthalpy is uh, 178.2. So it will form calcium gases atom. Okay, after that, these gases atom will undergo ionization. So uh, I just put the uh, IE1 and IE2 of calcium together which is uh, 590 and 1145 from the table. Okay, therefore, calcium ions form okay, with uh, two electrons released. Okay, now we try to uh, form the gases atom of the bromine. Uh, please remember, bromine is liquid under standard condition. In order for this bromine, to form gases atom, we must use the atomization enthalpy. Uh, we don't use the bond energy because the bond energy can be used when the molecule is the gases form. 
because now the bromine is in liquid form so we cannot just use the bond energy so we must use the atomization enthalpies that given here because it's given atomization of bromine is 111.9 and the bond energy of bromine is 192.9 okay for this bond energy it must be bromine gases form the means the bromine liquid means now is must be in gases form then uh, if you break and form two moles of gases atom uh, this means the bond energy so means when the bromine molecules in gases form when it's break to this gases atom so the enthalpies or the energies that required is 192.9 okay and remember this is from gas to gas when is atomization of bromine then is another story atomization of bromine uh, from what you learn in AS so it's actually bromine in liquid form to form the bromine gases atom so of course here is half right okay so the enthalpies that required to convert this bromine liquid to one mole of gases atom uh, this enthalpy we call uh, enthalpy change of atomization of bromine Okay, from the liquid state uh, this is the difference between the the bond energy and the atomization of the bromine okay so if let's say two now because in this question two moles of gases atom form then this one this enthalpy need to times two Now let's get back to this. Therefore, from this part, calcium, sorry, bromine liquid now form this uh, gases atom of bromine. Okay, so it needs to use atomization from liquid bromine to gases atom straight away. Because it's formed two moles, so times two. Okay, after that, this bromine gases uh, atom will gain the two moles of electron to form two moles of bromine gases ion. So it's two times negative three to four point six. This is the uh, Ea okay, of the bromine. Okay, so once you able to construct this uh, von Hebel cycle, so you can do the calculation easier. Okay, latest energy plus this plus this plus this and this equal to the formations of the calcium bromide so which is this one okay after that in order to calculate the latest energy of calcium bromide so you just rearrange then you can get negative 2170.6 kilojoule per mole okay part two select and use relevant data from 8.2 and your answer in c part one to calculate the standard enthalpy change of hydration for the this uh, bromide okay this one um, you can use the this uh, hash cycle so we start with the gases ion calcium gases ion and bromide gases ion they can combine and form the solid or they can just dissolve in water to form the solution the solid also will dissolve in water to form solution 
So the equal solution is uh, the things that in common between the gases ions and the salt. So we can link all these enthalpies together. So we know that ladies energy plus enthalpy change of solution equal to the hydration enthalpies okay, of the uh, these ions, calcium ions and bromide. And this one you have to be careful because the hydration enthalpies is going to involve the cation, in this case is calcium, and the anion, so is the bromide. So calcium ion is the uh, the hydration enthalpy is negative one five seven nine. Bromide, this is what we need to calculate. So it's two times hydration enthalpies of bromide. Okay, so we just substitute the values that uh, we get from the previous uh, part. Okay, this one. And this one given. So we get this relation. Right. Okay, so it's negative 2170.6 plus negative 103.1 equal to 1579 plus 2 times of hydration and the piece of bromine. Okay, so you calculate, you get this, negative 347.4. Okay, part 3. The enthalpy change of hydration of the bromide ion is more negative than the enthalpy change of hydration of the iodide. Explain why. This one is just because of the size. Okay, because we know that bromide ion has a smaller ionic radius than iodide. Okay, so therefore, the attractions of the bromide is stronger than the iodide. Means, the bonding that form between the bromide and water is much stronger than the iodide with water. Because bromide and iodide they have same charge because the size of bromide is smaller the charge density is greater so it can have a stronger attract attractive forces with the water okay so therefore you just need to uh, focus on the size the ionic radius okay bromide ion has a smaller ionic radius bromide ion therefore has a stronger attractive forces you can specify the, the forces. Okay, this force we call ion dipole bonds because it's the the bromide or the halides with the water. Right? So it's the ion dipole bonds. Okay, so that's all for this part. Thank you.